hi to Chaco. So we have uh, Argrays here for Sock. We have a Demon Hunter here for Colorful. So this time they play standard heroes. Demon Hunter versus Arc Mage. Demon Hunter with two archers. We have a uh, footman here hunting down a wisp in the back of his base. His wisp is going to heal and then he's going to build something. This archer fighting against a footman. Who wins this fight? Well, the, the archer has moon juice to drink. So I think the archer is going to win. Even though the footman usually wins this fight normally. Demon Hunter meanwhile in the... Oh, whoa, whoa. Is he going for an expansion over here? I think he wants to go for an expansion over here, but the Demon Hunter is right around the corner. And here comes Mr. Demon Hunter. So EU players can join Asia GC as open qualifier? Yes, they can. The Rudan did play in the in the GCS uh, Asian qualifiers. It's a, I guess it's the Asia qualifier. It's just uh, yeah, from the these uh, demon hunter is gonna kill this guy. There he killed it. It's almost level two. Meanwhile, over here we have uh, the footman. Oh look at him! He's down to twenty three hit points. Archmage, what item did he pick up? One of mana stealing. What a shitty, crappy item. He wishes he had anything else. Passion, uh, passion also, yeah, passion is also often in the uh, GCS Asian qualifiers. I'm not sure if they can play from Europe, but uh, Rudan and passion are both in China. You can always move to China. If you want to play, you know, in, uh, in China, you can always move to China, guys. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'm not sure. You probably want to live somewhere where there's not too much smoke. And that's a pretty interesting place to live in. There's a man of Bernard Argument. I don't, I don't know. I've never lived there. But, you know, I'd like to try out China sometime. But, unfortunately, it's so difficult with the visa and uh, etc. The Demon Hunter here is uh, fighting against the Argument. Footman is go are going for this uh, this wisp. The wisp is micro'd out. He's being healed. Our forces are under attack. Well, the archers are running past. The footmen are going to. What are they doing? Are they hunting down archers? No. Demon hunters back. Do we have a panda yet? That's a naga. We have a naga second. Interesting here. Interesting choice here for life. There's a mana bird on the archmage. When is Mr. Naga going to show up? There she is. There's Mr. Naga. No panda, but we do have a naga. Oh, this footman is going to die for sure. He doesn't have defense. There's TP, TP for suck. We did not hear the hero's names, by the way. We have uh, Firebrand and Ursula. Oh, Ursula Snake Mane. Is that, uh, I feel like that's some kind of superhero name. And on the other side, we have Peril Spellbinder. He's still at tier 1, which is uh, normal. Uh, the European qualif- the people that join the European qualifier don't have to be top 64 in that of course. They also, the, it's unrelated to Warcraft 3 Arena as well. What's the score between Live and Sock? Live wins 75% of the games for them? I don't know exactly. Because we've seen uh, we've seen Live play some uh, weird strategies with the Beastmaster first. And Live lost all those uh, games. Job's done. Ursula from the Little Mermaid. Oh, I knew it was some kind of uh, superhero. She tried to help the Little Mermaid. She gave her legs, right? She gave the little, little mermaid relax. The, the demon hunter is almost level three. Oh, what's the footman doing over here? I'll give you legs. I'll give you legs, little boy. You can walk by yourself. Okay, he goes down. Uh, demon hunter almost level three. The skull of the beast is kind of not a good item, by the way, if you're playing night elf and you're going bears anyway. Archmage, does he sell something? I 
Don't see him saying anything, but he did buy a uh, score of healing. Oh, the scripts are going down. Let's see what tome we get. Maybe a tome of XP, maybe a tome of intelligence, maybe a tome of uh, agility. Tome of XP! Nada. Rushes for us, he slithers her way across the map to that, uh, the, the tome. She's almost level 3. Demon Hunter is level 3. Arcane Tower is uh, doing some damage to the Demon Hunter. Four archers, two dryads. Do they have this spell? They don't have this spell. Where's the dispel? He's getting dispel, guys. Soon there will be dispel. Don't worry. I was worried, but you guys don't have to worry. I worry for you guys, okay? I'll just do all the worrying. You guys just sit back, relax. Look at the ancient warrior. He has seven armor. He has nature's blessing. Why didn't he get nature's blessing? Uh, because he built a tree of life in his main, of course. That's why. Uh, this uh, dry, uh, uh, moon well, no. Water metal got this belt. There's a fork lining level two on all the footmen. Job done. Do we see another one? Not yet, but soon. Soon. Where is it? Where? Oh, scroll of healing used here by the archmage. That's what he bought earlier. Ancient of War is still alive. Of course, with seven armor, you're not going to die. You have 30% damage reduction. It's another tree. Of course, he heals faster than he takes damage. It's uh, really good when you're tree of war, ancient of war, and just eating trees. So drive goes back. This ancient tower. I mean, arcade tower. I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't think he kills, he kills another tower. Oh, hello, archmage. Say hello to my little frost, frost arrow. Did he not use the arrow there? I'm not sure. Too many towers here, and there's no panda. Remember. Panda could kill everything. Easy peasy. Everything would be dead already. But we have a Naga. The Vark Insect have gone up. The Tree of Life is sitting down. Beautiful game so far. Job's done. Is human always trying to get late game? Well, if they played with an expansion, it's different than when they play one base, of course. We don't see human against Night Elf. We don't see the one base play ever well very we saw it earlier against the beastmaster but it's very rare to see one base play a human in this matchup even more rare than first and that i feel like oh nice quick so uh, and yeah if they get the expansion of course they want to just you know they have to uh, survive for a little bit it's not like they go late game it's oftentimes they don't even go to castle usually they just stay at keep and go uh, go tier 2 army, you know, with casters, spellbreakers, sometimes a rifleman or two, and murder teams. I don't know if you can call that like late game, because other games, like on Twisted Meadows for example, they, they will go to tanks, they will go to castle. That's a bit different. We have uh, Warzone Battle Drums, by the way, super duper good item here for the night of course, for life. Plus 10% on everything is, of course, super duper good. Oh, we have the Blood Mage second again. That's also super duper good. That's always super duper good. Blood Mage is just so strong. But there's no Panda. I feel like it's a bit worse now, no? You don't have the Panda to steal the mana from. Yeah, the Naga has more mana to steal from, but the Naga is in the pack. She's a bit harder to steal her mana from. Even if you steal her mana, she still has her little Foster Arrows. And she has a greater mana potion now. She's almost level 4. And, uh, yeah, there's nothing here. Hello. <laughs> Stop spamming super duper, please. I'm a spammer. You want to hear with some bears, with some drives, with some archers? Let's see what we get over here. Parry up. No, that's. Yeah, did he get a parry up? Yes, he got a parry up. That's uh, some extra hit points on the Demon Hunter. And let's see what he gets over here. It could be... We already has the Warzone Battle Drums. Endurance Aura of Cat Cash Pipe is the best item here, of course. Let's see if we see a nice Shockwave. What does it get here? Let's see. Tell me then it's plus 2. Claws of Attack plus 12. Meh. I don't like it on Demon Hunter at all. Actually, I like all this claw... Both Claws of Attack and the Gloves of Haste. I want to see that on the Naga. Because the Demon Hunter is just going to be banished. And he's trying to run around mana burning. Okay, there's no banish just yet. Ah, farm is up. We have masonry level one. 
done. Hello, Archer. Just cutting Archer here for her life. Our sacred grove is being desecrated. A sacred grove is being desecrated. We have a hippo with a uh, fairy dragon. Did he see any? Uh, did he see the blood mage yet? Oh, now he sees it. Now he saw the blood mage. If he if he looked at it at least. And uh, now maybe give these items to the Naga maybe. If life had a pen of third, he would be level three by now. Yeah, maybe that's what he should have done. Lionhorn of Stormwind, just pick it up. I don't like these items on the Demon Hunter. Just give it to the give it to the Naga. She wants it. She wants them. Well, the the blood mage still level two, so maybe he cannot banish him uh, all the time. There's a mana burn on the blood mage, and there's a banish. Okay, never mind. He does get banished. Oh, but we have dispel, of course. There he is, the level five demon hunter. But he is getting those mana stolen. There's a mana burn back, 139. He's out of mana for banish. Okay, guess I, I was wrong. The demon hunter can just uh, actually he still hasn't attacked once. Has he attacked once? I'm not sure if the demon hunter attacked once yet, or if he attacked once at all. The entire fight, I didn't see him attack. There goes the foot man. Do we see an approach just to let these units out a bit faster, a bit more fluently? Or is it is everything going to walk through this tunnel? This tunnel. A few units walk around. A farm being built over here for uh, sock. Sock at 80. Life at 80. More the teams are OO upgraded. The uh, Melee units, spellbreakers are one and one. The bears are zero and zero. He's building, he's upgrading the bear upgrade so they can use roar even when they're in uh, whatever form. Builds a tower over there, has a tower here defending the entrance. Over oh, the fairy dragons with the snipe. So sneaky. Sneaky fairy dragons, or is this a stinky tower? I don't know, but there's a water elemental. Uh, and they, he will defend the guard tower with his life. There goes another tower up. Maybe we can dispel the water elemental from uh, from here. Kill the tower still. Three mortar teams. There's a mana burn on something. Demon to get some of his attacks in. His uh, super duper attacks with uh, plus 22 hit points. There's a banish. Two of these air units, they get hit. Uh, is he gonna mana flare? He does mana flare, but one of them does go down. And the other one is attacking the priest when he's trying to uh, heal. Oh, 150 mana mana burn. He goes down super fast. The guard tower goes down. We have five, six, seven bears, a lot of bears. And there's a nice port lining. The Naga is now level five, which means he does even more damage. And we have a banished blade master, a demon hunter again. He's gonna steal some mana. He tries to steal some mana, but level one side of mana is just not imbalanced enough really to kill. I mean, not strong enough really to steal all his mana. And Actually, Demon Hunter has no more mana. Now the Naga, it's her turn to lose her mana. She has a potion of greater mana still, though. Demon Hunter uh, might be pretty uh, low on health. There's no staff on the Naga. No TP or info potion on the Blade Mana as a Demon Hunter. So he might be forced to TP or lose the Demon Hunter at some point. We have to bear down with slow retreating. Naga has mana for one more forward landing. Uh, the Blood Mage is pretty low hit post. Maybe we can kill the Blood Mage. One attack, one for lightning would maybe be enough. There goes a few of these melee units. Uh, this one went down super fast with this spell. TP out on Naga. Demon Hunter is careful. Three bears left, two bear, uh, one bear left. Uh, Just lost two bears in the last second there. What do we have here? Tree of Life next to this farm. And um, yeah. Flying machine over there. Oh, good. Great outdoors. There's a tower over here, level 2 masonry. Mana burn on the sources. The hippo takes some damage here from the water elemental. Here comes a uh, dispel. The water elemental will go down. Wait, did you just, did you just misclick the dispel? Or did he purposely dispel uh, the slow on the demon hunter, maybe? Maybe there was slow on the demon hunter, I'm not sure. There's, uh, there's only one source, though. She goes down. There's a mana burn for 49. He has mana for more mana burns, but what is there to mana burn? Uh, this water elemental could be dispelled, maybe drives a super long hit points though. Does he have a healing school? I don't think so. 
You know that gets all his mana stolen, and there's another banish. Again, I feel like the Nagash is attacking much more than the Demon Hunter. He did sell the Gloss of Haste even. Instead of giving it to the Naga, we have a level 6 Demon Hunter now though. And now I like the Gloss of Attack on the Demon Hunter again. And he will get a bonus 10. Oh no, never mind. He already gets a bonus 10 damage. Percent. Okay, let's see that Metamorphosis. Uh, Naga get her mana stolen. There's a mana burn. 123 mana burn. Do we see a Metamorphosis or do we not see a Metamorphosis? Oh, okay. I guess it's mana stolen with the... This is the anti magic shell. There's a mana burn. And let's see if the demon hunter can win the game by himself. 69 spike against 70. He's uh he's killing these sources. He's killing these water elementals. Do we have more dispels? I guess he's just out of mana on dispels. The mortar team is being hunted down by the drives and the naga. Meanwhile, some mutants are fighting here against the water elemental and the towers. The demon hunter is fighting here by himself, of course, because that's what demon hunters do. They fight by themselves. But uh, there's a rejuvenation. Do we have a spellbreaker anywhere close by? No. All the way over here. There goes the tower. He's going for a counter attack. He, by the way, built some towers over here, which is cute and nice and great play. Archer went down. Uh, but his expansion here is under attack. Demon Hunter is, uh, well, one drive goes down, second drive goes down. We have a healing scroll here on the Naga. And he has to go back to, to save his expansion. Rejuvenation on the hippo. I'm not sure why exactly on the hippo, but I guess he just had uh, a bear there. The human form. I was like, okay, let's use the rejuvenation fast before, uh, before, you know, before I go in bear form. Uh, do we have dispels on the further water elementals? No, he lost like all his drives besides one. That has only one dispel. So the water elementals now will do so much damage. One, the dry dies, of course. The bears are being slowed. They can't do anything. We have uh, blood mage. He banishes this mortar team. Being we also have a level 6 Naga. If she uses the mana potion, she could have gone for a tornado, but she picked level 3 cross arrow. It's probably a much better play, but I'm just saying, you know, we could have seen tornado if uh, things would have gone differently. Demon Hunter staffed out. His expansion went down to towers. And ah, the great outdoors blood mage is uh, getting bears easy peasy. He's level 4 now. Level 2 banish, of course, is super, ah, is super good. Outdoors. Just super. No, it's not super good. It's good. It's good, okay. There's a water elemental. Is he going for uh, do some detonations? Some nice detonations. Water elemental does go down. The level 3 Frost Arrow, by the way, should not be underestimated. Level 6 Naga is, uh, is really strong with the level 3 Frost Arrow. Uh, slows a unit for, by 70%. Movement speed and attack speed. Now, in this matchup, doesn't matter too much, I guess, but uh, we're running Arc Mage, we're running Blood Mage. The arrow makes a big difference. There's a mana burn 146 on the Arc Mage, but the Demon Hunter himself is out of mana as well. Gave all his mana to the Blood Mage, and now the Blood Mage will give it back again to the Arc Mage. The Demon Hunter is running. There's no expansion, uh, but she, if we turn to, he's done, uh, done mining, so he will get one free expansion. We see an expansion coming up here. We see an expansion here, but all the, oh, the Flare sees it. Expansion is damaged by the way. Did he just uproot this one and walk it all the way here? I think that's what happened. That's probably what happened. Hi, beautiful chat. Let's go for um, going for the tree of life. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. Uh, of life, of course. The tree of life of life. It's going to go down. Yeah, that's a dead tree of life of life. But the demon hunter finds this base. Starts getting peasants. Life's only like a few supply behind. This gold mine, by the way, only has well, still has quite a bit of gold left because the center of gold mines, of course, have 15,000 gold in them. And there's a level 6 demon hunter defending against this uh, level 5 archmage. And this, this one will go down, right? Or is it? Do we have a flank attack? No, it's going down. And he's building something here. No, nothing. What's the Tree of Eternity doing? He finally sat up, or said, stand up, stood up. He was sitting there so long. Such a lazy uh, Tree of Life, Tree of Eternity. He's going for the tunnel. He's just straight up going for the tunnel with his level 6 uh, Demon Hunter. Of course, he does a lot of damage, but does he do a lot of enough damage? 
No, he doesn't have the Panda. Maybe he normally plays with the Panda, so maybe he's used uh, to the Panda DPS. Two buildings. Demon Hunter, of course, completely invisible when he's banished. Naga gets her mana stolen by this uh, Blood Mage. The mana burns with Blood Mage, but she still has so much mana. If not banished, there's a Dispel, there's a Mana Siphon thing on the Demon Hunter. He's almost a uh, normal Demon Hunter again. He's level 7 now. And uh, one bear here is about to fall, but he... One? We have one staff available. Another comes in. Is he? Uh, is this on purpose? Okay, he's banished. But these guys are still uh, doing damage. But the priests are healing the damage back up. Okay, fairy dragons. No, one fairy dragon went down. Second fairy dragon goes down as well. But the hippo here for to, to kill the flying machine. The units here are pretty hurt here for life. But uh, apparently the supply is still very similar. We have a level six archmage, but you know what is Master P going to do? Oh, blood mates. Super long hit points. He doesn't have mana though on any of the heroes, when, so he can just banish himself. I'm pretty sure he knew there was no mana. Even the greater portion of mana is gone. He used it at some point during this fight. I'm not sure when. We have uh, water metals that are just so strong, and the dry side doesn't have mana. Well, actually, they both have mana for one. Okay, there's the GG. Life GG's out.